Hello everyone, welcome back to Microbio Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about the culture media used in microbiology laboratories. There are some bacterial species who are able to grow under a wide range of conditions but others are very exacting in their growth. Artificial culture media generally provides some sources of carbon, energy and nitrogen in the form of available carbohydrates and amino acids. These are required for the growth of bacteria and there are some sort of special media they provide specific requirements that may include inorganic salt or particular growth factors apart from this carbon energy and nitrogen sources. And the majority of organisms that will be studied in the bacteriology are either pathogens or it can be common cells of the human body. Common cells are nothing but they are just natural habitat of our body does not which does not cause any kind of infection. And in order to obtain the suitable growth of this pathogen or common cell in the artificial culture medium, we should provide the nutrient for its growth at a pH of about 7.2 approximating to those of the tissues and body fluids. So the body and the tissue, body fluids and the tissues are having an approximate pH of 7.2. So it is better or it is mandatory that we have to maintain the pH in the artificial culture media where the bacteria can grow better. For the routine purposes, many of these nutrients are supplied by aqueous extracts of meat and pepton, which is a product of the digestion of protein. So, for the routine bacteriological medium, we use aqueous extract of meat and pepton. And the basic constituents of a culture media in order to grow the bacterium are water as a source of hydrogen and oxygen, then electrolyte as a source for sodium chloride and other electrolytes. Next is pepton which is a complex mixture of partially digested proteins and meat extract which contain degeneration protein products, inorganic salt, carbohydrates and growth factors. Next is blood or serum this makes the media more enriched so blood or serum are used for enriching the culture media and agar in a culture media is used as a solidifying agent and based on the physical state the culture medias are classified into liquid media semi solid media and solid media on the basis of presence of molecular oxygen and reducing substances in the media, they are divided into aerobic media and anaerobic media. And based on the nutritional factors, they are divided into simple media, complex media, synthetic or defined media, semi-defined media and special media. We will be talking about the simple media used in the growth of microorganism. So, in simple media, as the name suggests, it consists of basic necessities for the growth of organism. So, the major examples for simple medium are nutrient broth as a liquid medium and nutrient agar as a solid medium, which contains pepton and distilled water in a nutrient broth and nutrient agar added as a solidifying agent. So, there are three types of nutrient broth available. Meat, first one is meat infusion broth which is an aqueous extract of lean meat to which pepton is added. And the next is meat extract broth which is a mixture of meat extract with commercial pepton. And the third one is digestive broth which is an aqueous extract of lean meat that has been digested with a 
proteolytic enzyme so that additional peptone need not to be included so there are three different types of nutrient growth meat infusion growth meat extraction growth and digestive growth and the commercially produced nutrient growths generally incorporate a meat extract supplemented with yeast extract and peptone in varying proportions moving to nutrient agar nutrient agar is a solidified nutrient growth by the addition of agar so the japanese agar yields a gel of suitable firmness at a concentration of about 2 percentage and if you are using a new zealand agar at about 1.2 percentage this is about the concentration of agar to be added in a nutrient broth in order to make it solidified and next is a complex media all the media other than the simple media are classified under complex media the next is synthetic media these medias are prepared from pure chemicals and exact composition of medium is known the synthetic medias are prepared from pure chemicals and the composition is known next is semi defined media in the semi defined media the chemical composition of the medium is not completely revealed it is approximately known the chemical composition of the medium is approximately known in a semi defined media and the example is peptone water the other group of medium are special medium and under special medium they are further classified into enriched media enrichment media selective media differential media indicator media transport media and sugar media so in an enriched media to the normal agar medium there are certain additional substances like blood serum or egg is being added to make the medium enriched so that the bacteria will grow nicely example for enriched medium includes blood agar in blood agar blood is used as an enrichment substance and next is lofler's serum slow where serum is added as a enrich substance and one more example is lg medium which is very common in mycobacterium tuberculosis growth where we add egg as an enriched substance and next is enrichment medium so in enrichment medium the media are incorporated with certain chemical substances which enhance the growth of pathogenic organism and suppress the growth of unwanted or non pathogenic organism so this enrichment medium can understand which of the organisms are pathogenic from the sample and which will suppress the growth of unwanted or non pathogenic organism which is belonging to the particular sample for example if you are using a stool sample in an enrichment medium from the sample what are the common pathogenic organism being isolated will be detected by the enrichment media and will enhance the growth of such pathogenic organism and suppress the growth of non pathogenic organism an enrichment medium is liquid in nature example for enrichment medium are selenite f broth and alkaline peptone water so we have seen now both enriched medium and enrichment medium so the basic difference you should be thorough with that enriched media is a solid medium whereas enrichment medium is a liquid medium and the next is a selective media the selective media as i have told which will enhance uh, the growth of selective pathogens same like enrichment media which will enhance the growth of only a certain pathogenic bacteria but it is solid in nature as you can see it has all the properties of enrichment medium but it is solid in nature example for selective media are deoxy collagen citrate agar for the growth of stool organism and 
thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar you can see which is used for vibrio coloring and in this medium if the stool sample is having vibrio coloring only there will be a growth which will suppress the growth of all other bacteria and next is a differential medium from the name itself you can understand the type of the media which help to differentiate the organism into two different group okay differential media can separate or differentiate the organism into two different group this example for differential media is a mekongi agar as you can see in this picture there are two types of colonies in this one side left hand side you can see the pink color colonies and the right hand side you can see some golden tinge in the colonies so left hand side which is showing a lactose fermenting colony and right hand side it is showing a non lactose fermenting colony in a mekongi agar you can see one single media demonstrating two different types of organisms that is lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting that is the property of a differential media which will differentiate the organism into two different group next is an indicator media this media contain an indicator which can change the color when a bacteria grow on that example for indicator media is wilson and blair medium where the stool sample is employed and if there are salmonella colonies they will produce black colored colonies in wilson and blair medium next is a transport media which is mainly used to transport the sample if the patient is not nearby there is a chance that the pathogen in the sample may not survive or may be overgrown by non pathogens during the time it takes to transport the specimen to the laboratory so we take the sample we collect the sample and keep it in our lab and there might be a commensal pathogen or commensal organism which may overgrow that can be minimized by the use of a transport media example is towards transport media for gonococci so towards transport medium is a soft agar medium used to maintain the viability of neisseria gonorrhea or gonococci on the swabs during their transmission to the laboratory and it is essential that distilled water is used in the medium should be free from chlorine and the components of towards transport medium are sodium thioglycolate sodium glycerophosphate calcium chloride methylene blue and distilled water as i have mentioned the distilled water used in towards transport medium should be free from chlorine and when you are using a towards transport medium you have to dissolve all the solid content of the medium in distilled water at 100 degrees celsius and the ph needs to be adjusted between 7.3 to 7.4 once the ph is adjusted methylene blue indicator has to be added to the solution and the media the liquid media can be distributed in bijou bottles filling nearly full once it is filled you can autoclave it at 121 degree celsius for 15 minutes and immediately tighten the cap as soon as you finish your autoclave tighten the cap of bijou bottle in order to avoid contamination when it is cool the medium should be colorless and next is sugar media sugar in microbiology means a fermentable substance and this fermentable substances may be monosaccharides like pentose arabinose hexose and mannose it can be disaccharides like sucrose and lactose trisaccharides like raffinose polysaccharides like starch and alcohols like sorbitol and glycol so this sugar media comprises of 1% sugar in peptone water with an appropriate indicator and a small tube called the hums tube kept 
immersed in an inverted foam inside the test tube which is containing the sugar media in order to detect the gas production so the hums tube is kept inside the sugar medium in order to detect the gas production by the bacteria and for the first stages organism his serum media with 3 percentage serum is used and next is anaerobic media these are the media used for the culture of anaerobic bacteria example is robertson cooked meat medium and thioglycolate broth you can see in this picture that is robertson's cooked meat medium where three different types of bottles so in the first bottle the color of the meat is slightish pink to red and the second bottle you can see the color of the meat is dark and the third bottle you can see the color is unaffected which is of a meat color so the first tube says that the bacterium if the color of the first meat is changed to pink or red we say the bacterium is saccharolytic and first tube detects or shows saccharolytic growth and the second tube shows proteolytic bacterial growth due to the digestion of protein there is blackening of meat and third tube is an inoculated tube that is about today's class if you have any queries you may post it in the comment section and please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you